writing a document instructing called a will, then laws of dissent and distribution will take place where the, uh, the rights to the property are held by the civil courts until such time as an owner can be found who could have a legal claim who's a blood relative. Now again, this is the only profitable way to be forced to get rid of your property. It's called eminent domain. Eminent domain is the local or state or federal government's right to force an owner not to give away, but to sell their property for a public purpose. And again, it's broadly uh, expanded. Let's cover it now because it is a highlight for you. Turn to page 137, the term eminent domain. You have it highlighted on 12 through uh, 15, right? Mm -hmm. Eminent domain allows local, state, or federal government, and this power may be delegated to railroads, public utilities, and public housing authorities to obtain ownership to private property called what is called a taking. Now, when someone takes you from something from you, they took it and you stuck, right? Well, this kind of taking is something very profitable for the party who's forced to sell their property. Because the taking, A, must be for a public purpose. B, the owner cannot be financially harmed in any way by being forced to sell. So there are actually people who look for properties that might be uh, where roads are expanded. Uh, probably the biggest, most profitable eminent domain taking in the United States was when uh, the government, both local, state, federally, had to create the Golden Glades Interchange. And the owners were forced to get out of there, to compensate the owners and get it done quickly. What was done was their houses were left intact, lifted off their foundations, and moved to another area, and they were compensated loads of money so they wouldn't hold up things. Now, did they have to sell? The answer is yes. Oh, yeah. When government says sell, you sell. But if you are not offered enough and you suffer loss, there is a process called condemnation. And in the condemnation process, an owner can argue compensation, and if they suffer a loss, they will not only get their monies, they will be paid for all legal fees and court costs along the way. The owner cannot be forced to be hurt by the government forcing them to sell. So it does grease the wheels so we can have progress. But my God, I know investors who say, you know, they're opening up this new area. Where do you think the schools are going to be? Where do you think they're going to have the big shopping centers? I think I'm going to buy on land that might be taken from me for school because I'm going to get rich now. Eminent domain is a very popular, uh, profitable enterprise for those who do careful diligence. Yeah, probably the people who do the best are the people in local government because they know everything that's going to happen. They've seen the master plan and they're buying all, all the land that will have to be uh, forced to sell. They would love to be forced to sell. Yeah. But a shopping center is not like a public... Uh, I didn't say a shopping center. You did. <laughs> did I say shopping centers? I did not. Shopping centers, uh, they've tried this a couple of times. A few developers... And they did not get past, they didn't need muster in the courts. Mm. Uh, there was a big stink in Hollywood, Florida, recently. A private developer wanted to force the owners of a property which had fallen into disrepair. It was the Hollywood Bakery. And they saw a great opportunity, and I know the developer's name, John Smith. 
And he got in touch with his buddies on the city commission and said, I want to force that son of a bitch out of it. And the city commission, which gets a lot of money from John Smith, said, get out of it. And you know what the owner did? Said, try it. And the owner still owns the property. The developer is out. And frankly, the city government got voted out of office because they would they got caught with their hand in the uh, cookie jar. Imagine a public official doing that. It's never happened in the United States of America. Fort Lauderdale Airport is a county property that must be allowed to expand. They had to give a fortune, didn't they? He loved being forced to sell, didn't he? This is the one time you go whoopee when you're forced and you retire because they juice you with so much to keep you out of the court. It's a fact. It's a fact. Eminent domain gives the government the right to force you to sell. You don't have an option, but they better pay you a whole lot of juice, otherwise it'll get tied up in courts and condemnation for the next thousand years. Yeah. There was another development in David's. It's Neo Montero. There used to be a farm there. And they I happen to be very familiar. But that wasn't eminent domain. No. That was just if I give you enough will you go away? Yeah. Payola. It's Everything's payola. Right? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Why do you think I get my granddaughters to talk to me? <laughs> So the payola. Payola. Is, uh, you know, going back to the Fort Lauderdale. Let's not go too far. The Fort Lauderdale yeah, Airport is a county property. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is that, you know... The, the let's call Fort Lauderdale Airport a county property. county property. And when they needed to expand, the owners had to sell. They were thrilled to death. That's all you need to know. Let's go on with our 